Israel is being accused of carrying out airstrikes with the latest round of attacks targeting the large T-4 airbase near homes as well as areas near the Iraqi border. Now 16 people were allegedly killed in these latest attacks and Israel has carried out hundreds of airstrikes in Syria openly declaring that this campaign is aimed at preventing Iran from establishing military bases throughout the country. Well with us for more on this story we have our correspondent Yotam Confino live from Tel Aviv. So Yotam you know tell us a bit more about the latest attacks in Syria. Is it plausible that Israel are behind them? I think it's very likely that Israel is behind it. If you look at these specific places that have been bombed in the past couple of days, those are all sites that are either known to be Iranian-linked, either through uh, militias that are uh, Iranian-backed, basically, fighters that are in these specific areas. And the specific airport that was uh, targeted yesterday, very close to Homs, is a site that Israel has bombed before. And Israel does sometimes openly admit that they, they, do, they do strike these Iranian targets throughout the country. And it's mm -hmm. quite interesting to see, if you look at the map, how diverse it is. It's from west to east to, east to south, really. You know, these airstrikes in Syria seem to be getting less coverage, but in general, they seem to have become almost routine with Israel doing basically whatever it pleases when it comes to its campaign in Syria, no? It's quite wild, actually, if you think about it, that these strikes happen sometimes several times a week, and it's not it really drawing that many headlines after all because it's very serious when a country obviously strikes another country like this but if it happens so often if it's literally hundreds and hundreds of strikes at some point it becomes old news and is really just a routine and Israel is doing this without even flinching they continue until Iran is out of Syria and this will likely take a long long time all right, so quickly here, you know, what time do you think we're going to see a proper retaliation by either Syria or Iran for these airstrikes? I think we have to see something very severe. Either Israel may be killing a high-ranking Iranian official or a, Syria, a Syrian official. Uh, something like that, I think it will really have to be severe before we see a complete retaliation in something that Israel hasn't seen before. And another quick answer here, you know, Israel and the UAE have now diplomatic ties. We've been covering that extensively. Uh, and they have a common enemy in Iran. Is it possible that we're going to see cooperation between the two when it comes to countering Iran? I think down the line they might be able to share intelligence specifically about Iran because it is a mutual enemy after all. But I think in other areas, I don't think that they will really share that much intelligence. But specifically about Iran, I think it is possible.